Hello everyone, today I would like to show you a new feature uh, implemented by Carlos. Uh, this feature allows to uh, easily switch uh, the... Uh, this feature allows to turn any group layer into switch layer. Uh, let me show you how it works. Suppose we have uh, several layers, three, and uh, let's put them into the group. Okay, and let's enable group switch now. Uh, in fact, it's a very smart switch, so it's called the range. Okay, so this is the group and only one layer is displayed. Let me explain how it works. Uh, uh, we have each layer inside of group with particular z depth value. This value shows us how far uh, this the, uh, this this value sh uh, determines the order of layers, so we can limit the the group uh, visibility range uh, by certain z z values. For example, here, here we have uh, the range position equal to zero, which tells uh, that. Uh, it will display all layers uh, which have z depth equal to zero uh, and plus the z range depth value, uh, but not inclusive. So it's only one layer. If we set uh, this value to one, then the layer with z depth equal to 1 is displayed. Uh, 2, the last layer is displayed. And uh, of course, if we set 3, no, nothing is displayed because we have no layer with such z depth value. Okay, let's set it back to 0. Huh. And uh, also, we can change range depth. Uh, this uh, value tells how uh, how the um, how big the range is. Uh, at the moment, it is equal to one, which uh, means we have all layers from zero to one. If we set it to two. Then we have two layers displayed, starting from zero and on until two. Let's set it to the position to one. Now we have last two layers displayed from one and plus two two uh, units. Okay. Uh, problem with zero value. value. Okay, let's show do the trick. Okay, so this is very neat feature which allows to switch uh, the content of the group uh, where it could be used. Um, well, first of all, we can use it for mimic animation. Let's suppose we have a set of heads. Oops, it's a lag. Okay, let's import them. Okay. Group and scale. So we have uh, 
all heads displayed inside the group. But we need only one head displayed at time, so we enable the range. So this head is displayed. Uh, we need this, so we set the group value, the range position value to four. Okay, so he closed his mouth. Now we can easily animate. Uh, the uh, switching uh, of the layers. Let's just set different values. That's it. I think you've got an idea. Uh, yes. So it's very powerful feature. And I think it's long demanded by many Synfig users. So let me show you the last example, which is very interesting. Should be. Okay. I'll create several circles we need really much of them At least, at least ten. Okay. Okay. Now let's group them all together. And let's. Oh, I'm in animation mode. Huh. I need to fix this. Uh, remove, remove, okay. Okay, so we have grouped them all together and let's enable the range again. Only first uh, circle is displayed. Let's set uh, the range position somewhere at uh, 5. Okay, so this one is displayed. We can display two circles. You probably you remember that. So we have two circles. Let's get back to one. And uh, let me show you the last parameter. It's the range blur. It's it shows how. Um, it adds an extra range to the basic one, but uh, in uh, this range the, uh, the layers will be semi-transparent. They... Let, let me show you this. Okay, let's set it to one or two. Okay. Uh, you see, we have we have one layer displayed, but uh, others are also displayed, and they are semi-transparent. If we will increase, then we have more uh, layers in this fall in this range, and. Uh, the uh, well, the more the z value differs from the basic range value, the um, 
the more transparent this layer is. Well, I think you already see this. So we can change to different layer. So does this reminds you something? I think you already guess that this is so similar to frame by frame animation. So I think this feature is uh, is a some kind of basic component for our future implementation of uh, frame by frame animation because uh, we have sim just now we have simple layers here inside of the group but we can have also uh, images or even complex groups with many many elements and switching them can uh, well it might be a very good base for frame by frame animation well that's all what I wanted to show you today thank you for attention